everyone, today I'm going to be doing uh, my everyday makeup routine. Um, it was requested on my What I Got For Christmas video to do a tutorial on the makeup I was wearing in that video and that's pretty much the makeup I wear every day. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy. Um, sorry I haven't done my hair yet today so ignore that. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so first off I'm going to get my hair out of my face and the only headband I have is this one with the cat ears which I used in my last tutorial. So I'll have to be a cat unless I can find another one. I have Disney ears. Should I be a Disney Minnie Mouse? No, this will do. Just to get your hair out your face. Anyway, the first thing I use is a primer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'll link everything below that I use. <clears throat> Sorry, I think. <coughs> I think I'm getting a bit of a sore throat, so ignore the voice. Okay. I'm gonna apply it to my nose and my cheek. On my chin. On my forehead. Okay, and then just, just rub that in. I forgot to say, I'm not very good at makeup, so just don't take any tips from this video, just see what I'm using. The foundation I'm going to be using is the Rimmel Wake Me Up. Can you see that in the light? I hope so. Um, I was, was until recently using the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous foundation, but it's just gone a little bit too dark because I bought it in the summer. So I've gone back to my Rimmel Wake Me Up, but well, either are just as good as each other. A brush. I'm just going to use a normal foundation brush. I did wash these two days ago, but dirty again. Okay. Um, if I'm looking over there, it's because the mirror's there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, let's put this on my face. I just pumped one pump onto the brush and then sort of did this half of my face. It's kind of like half a pump. Then when I've applied all my foundation with this brush, I go in with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush just to buff it in and make it look nicer. <laughs> Once foundation's done, I do concealer and I use the Collection Lasting Perfection 16 Hour Wear Concealer. Just apply that under my eyes and around my nose. And on my chin. Because I don't want to there. Taking a concealer brush, I'm just going to blend that in. Okay, that's all blended. Next I go in and do like my bronzer slash contour. Okay. I'm going to use my MAC 129 brush, which is like just a fluffy brush, with my oh, MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW43. It's really dark, so it's like a little off, but <laughs> really good for contouring. So put some of that on my brush. Well, it's not like contouring, I'm kind of just like bronzing. I don't know. Just put it on my cheek here. Blend it up into my temples and onto my forehead. Just try and make me have a little bit of colour. Same on the other side, because you don't want to be not symmetrical. Okay, that's kind of like bronzed up my skin a little bit. Um, the next thing I do is my blush. So I take the Real Techniques blush brush. Just think like, I did wash all these two days ago. Why is this so dirty? Okay, and the Milani, it's rubbed off, Milani Baked Blush in number one. It's really pretty. <laughs> it's like pink with gold and it's kind of like a blush and a highlight in one. So get some of that on my brush dab it off and then apply it on my cheeks just blend that until you're happy with it 
Okay, moving on to my eyes, I'm going to use my favourite palette ever, which is the Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay. Oh, it's so pretty, let's see if I can... Oh, it's so pretty. It's the nicest palette ever. Um, it's kind of got um, pinky, shimmery, goldy shades, which is what I wear. Right, let's find the brush. Okay. With my MAC 275, I'm going to take the colour Strange, which is like an off-white shade. I'm going to put that on the inner part of my eye, I guess. Kind of across. I told you I'm not good at makeup, I don't even know what they're called. Next I'm going to take the colour Limit, which is kind of like a really pale pinky brown shade. I'll put the link to the palette in the description box so you can um, see the colours for yourself. I'm just putting that on the outer half of my eye where I didn't put the strange <laughs> the strange where I didn't put strange next I'm going to take the colour buzz in the palette it's um, kind of like a shimmery pinky colour uh, same brush again I'm just going to put this in the middle of my eyelid you'll see where I put it um, the camera cut out and I had to charge it so it might be in a different place now so I'm sorry about that. Anyway, as I was saying, take the buzz eyeshadow and put it on the centre of your lid. It just makes it quite pink. And just blend it into the two colours you already put on there. Just using the same brush. Next I'm taking this eyeshadow by Essence, Cookies and Cream eyeshadow called Last Night A Cookie Saved My Life. <laughs> what a name. Um, okay, I'm going to take that on a MAC 226 brush, which is like a tapered pointed brush. Um, take a bit of that and put it on the outer corner and into the crease a little. Not a lot, just a little bit. camera cut out again <laughs> um okay what before i realized it's cut out i finished the essence cookies and cream eyeshadow on my in my crease i blended it all out and then i applied um eyeliner to my top lash line and kind of winged it a little bit using the l'oreal super liner perfect slim i love this because it has a felt tip liner like felt tip liner felt tip on the end um so it makes Applying the liner just so much easier and yeah I think that's all I did. Next I'm going to apply eyeliner to the inside of my top lash line like the waterline, tight line, you get what it is. Okay um, I'm using the Barry M Bold Black Waterproof Eyeliner um, because then it doesn't move all day. So let's put that on. You can lift your um, eye up if you want to like eyelid up to do it if you want. I find it's easier just to look to the side. Okay, it kind of makes your lashes blend in with your eyeliner. Next is mascara. I have got the Voluminous Miss Manga Mascara by L'Oreal. Um, I love this mascara. I got it in America. I know there's a lot of mixed reviews about this mascara. Some people love it, some people hate it. I happen to love it, but I guess it doesn't work for everyone. I'm just going to apply that. Also, if you like to curl your lashes, you should curl your lashes now or whenever. But I just put mascara on. I also lost my lash curler. My battery is flashing again. I'm going to be quick. Okay, 
and the bottom lashes too. I got a bit on my skin there. Just take your concealer brush and just dab it over the top and it just disappears. Okay, now I don't look as dead. Well, maybe I do. For my eyebrows, I use the number seven. I, oh, it's all rubbed off. Beautiful eyebrow pencil in the colour brown. Um, it has a little spoolie on one end and a brush on the other that needs sharpening. Brush, pencil on the other that needs sharpening. Um, so just brush them through. And then I already have quite full brows anyway. So I just sort of um, fill in any gaps just to make them look a little bit um, cleaner. And then get your spoolie again and just brush it through. That makes sure that you don't put too much product on your brush, on your brows. So just... Okay, that's the last time my camera's gonna cut out. Um, let's get it finished real quick. Um, um, I'm going to take, this is a bit weird, this Essence Cookies and Cream Jumbo Eye Pencil in the colour Last Night of Cookies Saved My Life. Weird, I must go with the eyeshadow. Um, and even though this is the eyes, I'm gonna line my cupid's bow with it. Well, this is what I did for the video anyway, and that's what you said you wanted to see, so. Okay, let's, only a tiny bit, kind of like a brownie colour and it just adds a bit of a shadow on your cupid's bow and then same on the bottom lip, just sort of on the middle. Then next I'm going to take my Maybelline Colour Whisper in the colour 75 Rose of Attraction. Um, yeah, I've used this before. And then put that all over my lip. Okay. Flashing again, oh my gosh. Okay, next, and um, the last thing is my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the colour Tokyo, which is like a pink, well, matte lip gloss. And then just pile it over the top. I'm pretty sure that is all I had on in that video. So let's take the kitty ears out. Again, not done my hair, so just ignore that. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry it wasn't the best tutorial ever, um, but I enjoyed making it. Um, Again, if you have any more requests, comment down below. I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video because someone requested that. So, um, look forward to that. And yes, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!